Hello, 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 hello again. You hey, Big Daddy Badass, Major Bad Association. What it do? You guys don't know this, but this right here is a hell of a drink. Mm. I just poured it. Um, it's absinthe, actually. And, um, I really kind of need it right now. Uh, not getting the most hours out of my job right now, so I'm probably going to be switching occupations, which is something that I need to do. Need to do it so I can spend more time at home and have a more uh, regulated schedule for the little bundle of joy that shall be uh, entering the world soon. This is basically a part two of my update. As you saw my Independence Day update, how I told you what happened. Me and my mom didn't have the conversation I thought we were going to have. Um, I didn't get a chance to get to the hall, but I did do my uh, due diligence. Um, I received a reply email from my mom. Um, as you know, originally she did not come to the uh, baby shower. And at the moment she didn't give me a reason. And, um, it really caught me and my wife off guard. Um, when I told my family about it, they had their own reasons as to why they thought she wasn't coming. Uh, they thought it had something to do with her not being more involved in the preparation. Um, even though they reached out to her to be involved, she just never got back to anyone. And they reached out more than once. So, that was deliberate. But, in the email, I sent her an email. And I very simply stated, because like I said, I was upset. And I didn't want to get into a whole big thing about it. So, I basically, I sent a very short email. And all I said was, why didn't you come? That's all I said. So, she sent me back this long email. Uh, the first sentence was, um, I hadn't intended... I had I hadn't ever I hadn't ever intended on coming. Hmm. Her reasons had nothing to do with religion. I know a lot of you guys are sitting there thinking, well, you know, it's probably because of your apostasy and um, everything like that, which I think is definitely a possibility. I would not put that beyond. The realm of possibility. Um, but her reason was because of uh, being upset with the family. You see, my grandmother's getting older. And as she gets older, she gets slower and less independent. Which, unfortunately, is a fact of life. Um, she, my mother, my aunt, my stepmother surrogate mother whatever you want to call her because I don't like calling her my mother anymore she is upset at the family for not taking better care of my grandmother uh, she my grandmother can't really do a whole lot of things by herself anymore and she's basically in the house all day um, so my mom's upset that my brothers and sisters aren't stopping by as often as they should to help with shopping and help with cooking and cleaning and um, just giving her general conversation and visiting and socializing with her, spending time with their grandmother. And it's not that they don't, because I know that they do. But her thing is that they don't do as often as they should. Some of them say that they're going to come by. Like, she'll, she'll, she'll talk to them on Tuesday and ask for someone to come by on Saturday and, like, then no one will show up. Maybe they forgot or whatever. So she gets really upset at this. So she's upset at the family. So that's why she didn't come to our baby shower. Our baby shower ain't got shit to do with nobody else except for me, my wife, and our daughter. That's all. You only get one first grandchild. There's only one first baby shower. And she chose to miss it because she was upset at everybody else. Her... My aunt, that's two people, her, one of my aunts, my eldest brother, and one of my uncles regularly go by my grandmother's house, make sure she has food, make sure the house is clean, make sure she has someone to talk to, spend time with her. Uh, my uncle 
is basically living there right now. And um, my mom and my aunt go by almost on a daily basis to cook dinner and make sure everything's taken care of. So it's not like she's being left alone and no one's doing anything for her. Okay? She has four people basically having around-the-clock care. Uh, one or two of them are going by to cook dinner and spend time with her and help clean up. Another one's doing the shopping um, for all of her food and any of her other needs. And the other one's basically just there for uh, uh, so she can have company. So I can understand wanting everyone to be around more and spend more time with her, which I, I do agree people should spend more time over at my grandmother's house. But growing up my entire life, I was over at my grandmother's house almost every day. I was over there weekly. I can tell you that for a fact. I was over there weekly because that's how I actually got interaction with the rest of my family. Because other than that, I wouldn't spend time with my family because they they're not Jehovah's Witnesses. So I'm not supposed to spend a whole lot of extra time with them more than needed. Um, everyone was always over at my grandmother's house. All the time. Things have changed. People have gotten older. Almost all my brothers and sisters have multiple children. So, they have lives. Like, they have busy lives. They they work more than one job. So, they can't always get over there as often as they would like to. I'm sure they would like to. They talk about my grandmother. We see her. She comes when she can to certain functions. Someone will pick her up and we'll see her. So, it's not like no one's seeing her. But... She's being taken care of. She's not being left to rot and die on her own. She's, she's being taken care of. But yet my mother feels that it's justifiable not to come to her grandchild, her grandchild's baby shower because she's upset at everybody else. Now, whether that's a bullshit cop-out or the actual truth. Either way, it's unacceptable. And I called and I let her know that. She wasn't at home and she never brings her cell phone with her. She was at the meeting actually. So I left the voicemail and I let her know that I'm disappointed in her. I'm upset at her. And that's not a good enough reason for me. That's not a good enough reason for you not to be at the baby shower. She hasn't responded back to me since I've left that message. She hasn't called me, she hasn't emailed me or anything. And I, and I don't think that she will for a while. And I'm okay with that. Um, because that's unacceptable to me. Now, I'm not sure how many of you are saying, Oh, you know, you have to make sure you take care of your grandmother. And you have to be there for her. I agree. And people are there for her. She has around-the-clock care by at least four people. That's more than you get if you're than if you're at a... Nursing home, as far as personal attention goes, you're not getting four nurses or four attendants with you all the time, or always attending at your needs, usually one or two. So she's being taken care of, and she's being looked after, and she's loved by everyone, even people who aren't her family. My grandmother lives in the projects, and my the whole project knows her. Everyone loves her. They all respect her, and they stop by, and they visit. So, my mom holding this grudge against the family, and letting that spill over onto a day that's supposed to be joyous, and that actually has absolutely nothing else to do with anyone else except for the three people involved, me, my wife, and our daughter. Her choosing not to uh, attend that is unacceptable to me. So, um, I guess this video was kind of just a little rant to get it out. Because, I mean, I, I I have peace with it. I'm like, you know, if that's her excuse, that's her excuse. But it's not good enough for me. So I wash my hands of it. I let her know how I feel. And that's it. It's done with. If she hits me back, she hits me back. If she don't, she don't. But I guess this is mainly a rant. And then also just to give y'all an update so y'all know. Because I, 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 said, I think I said that I would let y'all know um, if she hits me back. So, she hit me back. That's what it is. And, um, hey. It is what it is, right? Anyways, this is great. I really wish I had some weed. Do you have any weed?